In this video, we will talk about the rate of change of exponential function, a special type of exponential function, because we are well familiar with the rate of change of general exponential function that is a to the power x. So the rate of change of a to the power x is a to the power x natural log of a, as we proved in the previous video. Now we are going to talk about the rate of change of e to the power x that is sometimes known as Euler number because of its importance and we are also familiar with the value of this constant exponential its value is about 2.71828 so now we are going to see what is the rate of change of e to the power x the situation is same here as of the natural logarithmic function and the basic logarithmic or general logarithmic functions that firstly we proved the rate of change of basic or general logarithmic function and by using the rate of change of general logarithmic functions we proved the rate of change of natural logarithmic functions but there was another way of finding the rate of change is definition Situation is same as we found the rate of change of general exponential function a to the power x. So we can also find the rate of change of e to the power x by using definition of derivative as we did earlier just on the same lines of the same method of finding the derivative of a to the power x. But I will use the formula of derivative of finding the rate of change of e to the power x. Now, because e is also a constant and a is also a constant, but the difference is e is a well-known constant Euler number. So the rate of change of e to the power x is equal to a to the power x, which means that e to the power x and natural log of e. Now we know that natural log of e is equal to 1 and the only thing that we left out with e to the power x. So the rate of change of exponential function is the exponential function and the rate of change of x as we already did because on which the function depend upon. Now we will see some of the examples. Here is the function y is equal to x e to the power sine of x and we have to find the rate of change of this function. So first of all we have to apply the product rule here. That is the rate of change of first function and the second function as it is plus the rate of change of second function and the first function as it is. So dx by dx is equal to 1 into e to the power sine of x plus x. Derivative of e to the power sine of x is equal to e to the power sine of x as it is. But the rate of change of sine of x that we know is cos of x. So e to the power sine of x plus x e to the power sine of x into cos of x. Or we can take value common from this that is e to the power sine x and we will left out with 1 plus x cos of x. So this is the rate of change of this function. And it is really easy to find the rate of change of exponential functions by using definition and solving the functions by applying theorems or by applying their basic rule of derivative. So in the next video, we will solve some of the examples. So next video is all about solving examples of different types of functions. Uh, in order to fully understand how to find the derivative of, of different type of functions. So stay tuned. Goodbye.